Here's a look at Tesla's own CCS Combo 1 adapter that's currently only sold in South Korea. You'll notice it's only English on the outside of the box. Have a look here and what you see is a large adapter but much smaller than other options. Um, and it's similar to their 1772 adapter but has the extra pins for CCS. It's a lot heavier than I expected, but I think it's just due to the solid build quality. The most interesting here is this mechanical pin, which I should also add is, seems to be very strong, um, probably machined metal. But all it does is push inside with a spring. It doesn't seem to be any kind of switch or anything else to it. Uh, and I'll show you later, it's shown to retain the latch. So there you go, very simple, just in the box. And there's a quick look at the label, which does have some Korean on it. And also mentions it's made by Pegatron. So comparing this to the current option in the U.S. is the CTEC CCS adapter, which is much larger. It's got a contactor inside, a pre-charge circuit uh, filled with lots of bugs, and uh, obviously much larger than Tesla's option, uh, which is just a straight-through dumb adapter. Um, they both have a CCS connector on the other side, but you'll notice, despite the size, that Tesla's encapsulates the latch. And as you see, that latch goes up and down, but that mechanical pin will move out when it's inserted to prevent that from going up so someone cannot remove the charger. This is apparently the problem that Tesla has with the CTEC adapter. So here's the connector connected to the Tesla adapter, and you see it's nice and compact. Now the other half of this is in the charge port ECU board. Uh, this is Gen 4, and the smarts here, the CCS portion, is down in the bottom corner here. You'll see that Qualcomm chip and other hardware here that handles the power line communications that's required for CCS. This board can actually be obtained for $150 from Tesla parts and very easy to physically install. Uh, the problem is that service would need to configure the car to use it. Uh, here's the location of the charge port ECU on the rear left wheel fender inside the trunk. And you can see the original board has an LED for much further down than the existing uh, Gen 4 board. So just demonstrating here with an AC charger, that latch pin will contact the side of the car and push in and physically stop the latch from opening. This won't actually work because there are no contacts in the AC pins. So it actually will communicate and then fail to start charging. Hopefully Tesla will allow upgrades of the charge port ECU so we can all take advantage of this nice little adapter. Thanks.